welcome to Lawyer of the Week. Lawyer of the Week is creating a global community of lawyers, solicitors, and their support to inform and to encourage each other. My name is Pamela Deneuve, and please join us for our interview this week. Hi, my name is Pamela Deneuve, and I'm so pleased that you joined us for Lawyer of the Week. Today, we have Fernanda Alem Freitas, and she is a Brazilian lawyer, a legal consultant, a leadership and lawyer to lawyer coach and speaker. And she's working in a multicultural dynamic, yet mindful set with clients in Brazil and around the world, focusing on cross-cultural coaching skills, high performance and assertive communication leadership. Fernanda is the founder of Brain U Coaching, a Brazilian-based coaching and mentoring business and produces weekly videos on YouTube. She also functions as a leader, legal, uh, leader, legal coach, strategic co coaching partner at the renowned Brazilian-based consultancy and recruiting firm, Salomon Azi. Academically, she has a degree in law from McKinsey University in Sao Paulo, a postgraduate degree in international corporate governance from Harvard University, a master's degree in banking and financial law from the Boston University. And she's a specialist in communication of leaders by MIT, OCW, trained and licensed by the ICT Integrated Coaching Institute of Brazil. And she's also a international legal consultant and bar association. So she has, uh, many uh, credentials and has done a lot of work to be an excellent coach, consultant, and lawyer. So we're so pleased to have you. Welcome, Fernanda. Thank you very much, Pamela. It's my pleasure to be here, and thanks for inviting me. Yes, uh, we've known each other for a while, and um, I'm just very, I really admire Fernanda and her energy, her positive mindset, and uh, what she's doing with her business. So we're gonna ask her the lawyer of the week questions. And the first question is, what, when and what made you decide to become a lawyer? Uh, well, Pamela, that was in my teenager years. I can still remember that day. I was actually chatting with my mom uh, about my passions in life and about her career, about my dad's career. And we got into a very nice chat where she told me, uh, you should do what you really love to do. And so I thought, you know, I really love to help people. I really love to communicate. I really love to write. Uh, and so I thought to myself, well, my family is pretty much involved with uh, law. I actually, I uh, have my dad, he is now a retired Superior Court judge in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, my whole family has a history of being uh, related with law. And then my mom was a teacher and I thought to myself, hmm, these both things make sense to me. So she told myself, well, a uh, law degree will do it. And I thought, hmm, that's kind of a uh, 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 mindset that I want to be into. I want to go uh, and develop myself and have other people being helped. So why not law school? So then I decided to go to Sao Paulo uh, and get my law degree. And I'm so pleased that I did it. Oh, that's wonderful, Fernanda. I'm, I'm sure all of your clients are, are pleased that you did too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> When you come with when you come with a heart to help people, it's nothing but a good thing. So um, I'm sure that you have done major contributions to all of your clients, both coaching and your legal clients. Now tell us about your practice, your biggest wins and your biggest challenges. Okay, um, you know I've been for over 20 years now into the legal business. 
uh, working in Brazil, in Latin America, in uh, the USA, and with Portuguese-speaking countries. So basically, I have a multicultural, multidisciplinary work for these past years. And in 2014, I decided to kick it up a notch and got my uh, studies focus on coaching. So I got licensed by the ICI, the Integrated Coaching Institute Brazil, USA, uh, in 2015. And that was such a great decision in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I work today with mostly the legal industry and with clients in Brazil and abroad. And on that, I mean uh, clients that do some business with Brazil or work with Brazilians and then need to adjust, uh, you know, some cultural issues. And it's, it's a very good thing for me to be able to help and guide and assist these clients in uh, getting used to other culture and to other systems. So uh, it's, it's been a win-win situation for me being a lawyer-to-lawyer -lawyer coach and leadership coach, uh, especially because it maps my lifestyle well. Mm -hmm. I have a husband and two kids. So it's a good thing for us to have a work-life balance mm -hmm. and working uh, with clients around the world and on online coaching gives me some time that I can balance my schedule very well. So a win-win situation for me is being a lawyer and being able to provide some guidance as a lawyer-to-lawyer -lawyer coach, uh, not only in Brazil, but worldwide uh, to people that somehow would do work or connect with Brazil and Brazilians. That's really okay. wonderful. What a yeah. great service that is. Uh, how many languages do you speak, Fernanda? I speak English, uh, Portuguese, my native language, and I speak some Spanish too, and a little bit of Italian. I try that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and you know, Pamela, um, as everything in life, there is the good side and the bad side. So of course, there are some challenges to it. Mm -hmm. And when you were talking, and you, you know that very well too, when you are giving your services uh, online, worldwide, you have to be very focused, very organized, and it's not easy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a coach, but I'm a human being, so you know that uh, you have to have a strategy, you have to have a plan and stick to it. So one of the challenges for me has been uh, being able to keep up with the follow-up to all of my clients, uh, being able to stay in touch with uh, my public in general, uh, mm -hmm. be it through my articles, my internet posts, or my videos and comments to it, uh, on my YouTube channel, Brain New Coaching. So you see, there's always a good side and a bad side. So it's kind of juggling a lot to me, but it's working. So I'm very pleased uh, with uh, what I'm engaging right now. That's wonderful. Yes, um, you know, Fernanda, because I always think about how, as coaches and consultants, that we have to raise a high bar for ourselves. And, and, I, and I love what you said about balancing your own life because uh, we can't um, set an example for our clients or tell them to be mindful and not to be stressed if we're stressed all the time. <laughs> so, Very true. Very so true. One of the things that I have done over the years, I, it's, it's been about eight years now, is I start my morning uh, with meditation and I live close enough to the ocean where I take my dogs for a walk on the beach in the morning. Um, nice. Like I did that this morning. And uh, it's, it's like, it's, people say, oh, you know, that's really great that you do that, but it's really, it's a religion, you know? <laughs> I know, I know. So uh, what, what habits do you adapt for yourself? We're going to talk a little bit more about that at, uh, later on, but, um, are there any habits that you like to uh, create for your family uh, that helps you in this regard? 
Yes, of course. I mean, we, uh, we I, can tell, I can tell you that one of the things that uh, has uh, kept us very close is uh, meditation too, but a meditation and a kind of a mindfulness practice. Mm -hmm. uh, this doesn't need to be uh, you sitting in a room or it could be like more what you're talking about, like walking, like mindful walking or mindful biking. I yes. love bike with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also are a family of sports. So we play tennis a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a religious, like three times a week, we uh -huh. get four of us together by two kids, my husband and I, and we play at least a match and then we get all relieved and we, you know we have that family bond it's very good that's very good fernanda that's that's excellent 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 now uh who is a perfect referral for your practice that's a tough question pamela uh <laughs> you know having uh worked with uh global clients and global partners uh what i can tell you it's that it's very satisfying, it's very, uh, very impressive to me when I receive emails, when I receive LinkedIn comments, when I receive phone calls telling that I've made a difference in somebody else's lives. Yeah. You know, I have worked for the past two years with the biggest law firms in Sao Paulo, Brazil, mm -hmm. and I have worked closely with the human resources, uh, legal personnel as well, especially in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, mm -hmm. uh, which makes me uh, being very grateful for this opportunity. These are the kind of people that could tell great things about myself and could be great reference to my work. Yes. But most importantly, uh, what, I, what I like to share with you is how gratifying, how uh, pleased I am to be able to uh, offer somebody else referrals too. So when I think about your work and yourself, as you told in the beginning of this interview, uh, we've been uh, knowing each other for a while, and I felt very confident and comfortable to refer your work to people that need to be uh, in touch with a great coach like you are. So that's, that's a great thing about our work. I always tell my clients and my friends and colleagues, it's a two-way road. You, you know, you give and you give, you give and you receive, you give back and it keeps going that way. It's, it's wonderful. Yes, uh, thank you so much for saying that, Fernanda. And I feel the same about you and uh, I just so admire you and what you've done. and. Uh, the next time you, you and your family, which, which I was going to say that you and your family do travel to the U.S., especially, I think, Miami, that I did want to make an opportunity for us to meet, really meet uh, and, and have a chance to chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Pamela. Okay, so tell me, what legacy do you want to leave in your legal and leadership coaching practice? Very good question. Um, I think it's, it's so touching, this question, that it goes uh, beyond words. But what I can tell you is that if uh, in a digital era, in a digital world, we can um, share our knowledge, we can share our passion, and I can tell you that today most of my work is for free, I share a great deal of information, articles, posts, and videos online. And if I can have these people uh, get in touch with the coaching tools and with the coaching process, and in the future, if I look back and I see most of the people in the world uh, having self-knowledge, having self-control, uh, having the opportunity to having coach and coaching process into their lives, that will be a legacy uh, that I wanna, and I wanna leave. Uh, so sharing my knowledge, sharing my passion with the world uh, as far as I can and as much as possible, that would be something that, I, that would be a dream to me. Oh, that's excellent, Fernanda. I love that. 
Um, now, you know, we did touch on it a little earlier, but can you name one thing that you do that manages your stress level individually? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, as I told you, uh, mindfulness practice is something that I love. I mean, I recommend to all of my clients, and you know I work with lawyers, and some of them are reluctant with when we say about meditation mm -hmm. and mindfulness practice, but this has been a hit, a big hit in so many ways. And I can tell for myself and my family, uh, we do love to do mindfulness breathing. Uh, you know, it does help not only to lower um, your stress level, but to help you keep focused, be in the moment and being less judgmental of yourself, of the world around you. So that's something that has been helping me for the past two years. I do this every morning and every night. Mm -hmm. And during the day, if I have an opportunity, like a one minute, uh, five minutes, uh, it doesn't matter, just a little bit until 30 minutes, Every time, it, it's, it's been helping me a lot. Sometimes, Pamela, I do alternate uh, the, practice, the practice of mindfulness. So sometimes I go from uh, mindful breathing to mindful waiting to mindful listening to mindful walking. So it's super fun, and it's something that has been helping me a lot. I follow the practice-based MBSR, which is mindfulness-based stress reduction, you probably know, mm -hmm. uh, from the line of work of John Kabat-Zinn. Mm -hmm. So this has been something that I recommend actually to your followers, to your viewers, uh, if they have not been in touch or if they want to pick it up a notch on mindfulness practice, you can get a nap, you can listen to a, to a music and just do a mindful listening. It's a wonderful tool in coaching to help you focus on a great communication tool. That's great, uh, Fernanda. And I wanted to, because a lot of people won't really know what you mean when you say mindfulness. Can you kind of break it down a little more for our audience? Sure. Uh, thank you for that. It's, it's an opportunity for everybody to understand better, better what we are talking. Um, mindfulness is for you to be in the moment. I mean, if you get the strict sense of the word, it's just mean being in the now, focused, paying attention, not only to your surroundings, but to yourself. Mm -hmm. It is being in a state of mind that you pay attention and you don't wanna change anything. You just notice and sometimes mm -hmm. you let it go. If it's something that, uh, for instance, I am, let's take this moment now. Let's, let's do an exercise here, Pamela. Yes. Uh, I'm talking to you. And if I do a mindful uh, exercise right now, I just noticed that probably my shoulders are a little tight. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that. I don't want to change it. Mm -hmm. I just breathe in. I just do a quick stop and breathe out, focusing on my shoulders and being relieved, but I don't wanna change that much. I, do, I just wanna pay attention and be non-judgmental non to that. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, naturally, I increase my focus, I diminish my level of stress, and we don't need a nap, we don't need the music, we don't need anything. Just a few seconds, and I'm in touch with this moment again. Yes, that's great. That's wonderful. You know, I, I, you know when I, as I said, I walk on the ocean. Well, not on the ocean, but on the beach. And, you know, when I'm very mindful, you know, I hear the waves. I see the beach. I'm just, you know, right there. And then on other, you know, at another time, I could be thinking about, you know, this client or, you know, the appointment. And that's not mindful. So, so <laughs> just Fernanda, you really described this excellent in an excellent way yes. for the yes. audience, because you know you can be at work and you could be anywhere, like Fernanda said, and and just be right there. That's that's a wonderful explanation, and I, I love that. Thank you so much, Fernanda. 
Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Okay, one last thing. Let me just ask you, is there anything about you that uh, you would want your audience, the audience who's listening right now to know? Uh, I want to actually thank you very much. I want to thank you, your audience for being here with us. And I want them to know that I am uh, at their disposal to. I can work in partnerships. I can, you know, arrange your schedule as much as you can. I'm sure that uh, my kind of work is very similar to yours. We put our clients first. We put our clients' interests first. So, uh, as I told you, I have a great deal of information online. So, I want my, uh, my clients, my friends, your audience, your friends, to touch base with me, I'm at your disposal. Go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, it's brand new coaching. There are lots of videos there. I speak in Portuguese there, but there's also a subtitle in every video. And it's my pleasure to be here. I thank you so much. I've been doing a great deal of work uh, between the US and Brazil. So feel free to touch base with me and, um, Thank you, Pamela. I, I, I'm very honored to be here, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Fernanda. And we will have her links below um, her, uh, her, uh, on my blog, so you can actually have her, all of her contact information. So thank, thank you so much, Fernanda, and I really appreciate you being our Lawyer of the Week. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining Lawyer of the Week. We hope to see you again next week.